Christina, I hope you all had such a wonderful weekend. I know we didn't do our Monday reset yesterday, but that's because I kind of needed an extra day. I um, was thinking about it yesterday night and this morning, and um, I felt like I was reflecting on some of the things that I set myself to do at the beginning of Karthik. And I realized that a couple of them I just hadn't stuck to. And I was wondering why in my mind that I wasn't able to um, follow through with them and I wasn't able to remain consistent. And so I started listening to a class and it was all about Sankalpa. And Sankalpa essentially means a goal, a goal that you've set. But then when I heard about how a Sankalpa is set and um, with what intention it should be set, it really, really made me realize that maybe some of the things that I had set um, I wasn't doing with such a deep intention. So anyway, I thought I'd read this to you for your uh, Tuesday reset. And um, it says, Sankalpa is the fixing of one's mind on a goal. The alignment of our words, thoughts, actions with the values we hold most sacred. A reset, clarification of our very intention to move through this world with purpose. Bridging the largely unintentional subconscious mind with our highest intentional aspirations. Sankalpa requires none of the ego-driven willpower, willpower? willpower we typically summon to make changes. Let me repeat that. Sankalpa requires none of the ego-driven willpower we typically summon to make changes. To investigate the heartfelt desire behind this kind of intention, ask yourself what desire that behavior is currently trying to satisfy. Are you seeking peace of mind, freedom from pain, or the feeling of being accepted? See if you can find a deeper hunger, a longing that's asking to be nourished. And so it made me think that, you know, it is, sometimes we can set ourselves goals, but if we don't have a deep rooted intention, a deep rooted sankalpa of why we are actually, just like it says that when we have negative emotions or negative thoughts, we have to get back to the root. In the same way, when we are setting intentions that are positive for us, if we're setting intentions that are to um, strengthen us or, or make us better in some way, we also have to have a deep rooted intention and a deep why of why we want to do it. What is the reason? Is it because I know that this will end up um, making my heart happy? Is it because I think it will help me be better to other people? Is it because I think it will help me with my self-confidence? Whatever it is, there should be a deep sankalpa linked to it. Otherwise, it ends up actually coming from a place of ego rather than a place of deep intention. So I found that out about myself this weekend. What about you? Uh, but it really helped me actually because I went back, I wrote down again all of the things that I want to do because I plan to continue this past past Karthik. I want to keep these things going. And so this was another thing that really helped me because that's honestly why I think I didn't share anything on Monday because I felt like I felt myself. Um, but it said, even instances when you forget your intention, it can be transformed into support for your Sankalpa. We can channel our frustration into optimism. And so that's what we're doing today. I'm channeling my frustration towards myself of not being able to have stuck to it as much as I wanted to, but I'm gonna direct it towards optimism and I'm gonna start again because every day is an opportunity to start again and to reset and I genuinely believe that. And so um, I'm back on it. And for anybody else who's, who's um, avoiding because they feel like they failed, don't worry. There's no such thing as failure. You just have to jump back on. You just have to keep going, keep trying. And um, that's what life's about. So hope that was helpful. Definitely helped me so much. As you can tell, I'm very enthusiastic about life currently. Um, but sending you all so much love and gratitude for being so wonderful, so loving, so kind to me always. I deeply appreciate it. And I honestly feel like it's my fuel to be able to make you happy. We have a wonderful cycle going. You make me happy, I make you happy. Hopefully.